Hello everyone and welcome to Angel Healing House. I am Claire Candy Hoff. I am also Angel Ariel as I had an angelic walking experience on January 11th of 2003, uh, getting close to almost 20 years ago. Now those of you who are interested in walk-ins, you can find out more information in my remarkable award-winning number one Amazon international bestseller. It went number one in five countries, in Canada, in the USA, in the UK, in Germany, and Australia, and it's called I Am an Angelic Walk-In, the autobiography of Angel Ariel. Now, if you're interested, you can purchase this book on Amazon in print or Kindle form. It also is on audible.com as an audio book. Um, and for the upcoming holidays, which are fast approaching, uh, you can get an autographed copy, but only if you order it through my website, which is angelhealinghouse.com. Many people, when they give a book, they like to get it autographed by the author, and I do provide that, but only through my website. If you're interested, all my services are um, on my website, and I am an intuitive counselor. I am a Reiki master teacher, spiritual teacher, um, uh, angel tarot reader, uh, let me see what else, um, past life uh, healings, ancestral healings, learning Reiki. You can call Angel Healing House on 831-277-3716 and all that information is on angelhealinghouse.com. So as, as, uh, as well as all my other books which are on my website as well. But firstly, I want to thank everyone who sent me such lovely birthday wishes for my birthday last week. All of your wishes made my heart truly smile. And uh, before we go to any messages that we might receive through oracle cards or tarot cards, let's do as we do every week here on Walk In Angel Ariel's Weekly Wisdom for this upcoming week. Let's go to the astrological aspects which are affecting all of us. Now, just a few days ago, we experienced the 1010 powerful portal. That was the October 10th portal. Um, and it helped us to reach a new karmic and spiritual level. This new energy is aiding us in taking the next big leap forward into the new dharmic or soul-driven chapter of our lives. There are many people saying that the Conscious Awakened Collective have gone from third dimension to fourth dimension, or those of us that were in the fourth dimension went to the fifth dimension, and those that, are, that were in the higher levels, we just advanced forward. Now, on this very powerful portal day of 1010, many began to obtain insights as to how to shift their mindset to be open to receive and to move to that next level. You know, think of that 1010 portal as a bridge that will be magically appearing because we can now see that bridge because our perception is of such a high frequency. Um, because we have stepped into our sovereign, powerful, multidimensional natures, and that bridge that will appear for us will lead us directly to experience heaven on earth. Now, in a previous Angel Healing House radio program, and by the way, my 10-year radio pro weekly radio program, it's been on the air since January of 2012, um, on, my, uh, uh, on that program on Blog Talk Radio that airs every week on Thursdays, at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, my angelic family, who I am part of, the Posse of Angels and I, we spoke about how we can all be open to receive through forgiveness. Oh, and by the way, if you miss any of those our, um, uh, Angel Healing House Blog Talk radio shows, they are all archived for you to listen to any of the topics um, at any day, date, or time. So do use this lingering 1010 energy and see if there's anything left for you to forgive 
And then once you're clear, then visualize what it is that you want to create. What do you want this new chapter of your life to look like? How does it feel living in this new life of yours? Well, for me, this new life that I'll be stepping into will be like experiencing my birthday every moment of every day. Now, this is certainly a month of planets moving forward. Uh, we had the planet of Pluto, the planet of transformation, regeneration, and rebirth, and that moved forward on October the 6th. Then we had Saturn, the hard taskmaster planet which really, uh, you know, drives those lessons home to us, often through hardship, adversity, and contrast, in order for us to really learn the lessons. Saturn is also the planet of karma, uh, the lord of karma, they call that planet. Um, and that went forward out of retrograde on October the 19th. But wait, there's more. This month, and in a few more days, actually in a few more days, on October the 18th, two, two more planets will join both Pluto and Saturn in getting out of retrograde and going forward. Jupiter, the planet of expansion, abundance, good fortune, and luck, that will move forward into Aquarius on the 18th. And, you know, everybody, the most marvelous things happen when Jupiter moves forward because it brings in many reversals of fortune. With it moving forward, Jupiter will be in its full power until July 2022. Therefore, it's really a time for each and every one of us to be very optimistic, positive, and excited. Also, on October the 18th, we have Mercury the planet of communication and expression, it's stationing direct. It doesn't get out of its shadow phase for about mm, 10, 12, 14 days, but it will start moving forward and it will start communication flowing once more and for the breaks to be taken off of our projects and our endeavors for them to advance forward. Hallelujah. <laughs> and whether, you know, some people don't believe in Mercury retrograde and that it affects um, their progress forward, or whether it interferes with communication and things like technology. But you know what? I love Mercury Retrograde because I say that it's a wonderful time to take some time out several times a year to recharge, re-energize, review, and re-edit our lives, and to be reminded to back up our technology. Then, on October 20th, we will have a full moon in the very feisty, determined sign of Aries. Now, being the first zodiacal sign on the astrological wheel, which starts with Aries, Aries is the sign of the self. And this full moon is actually pushing us to strike a balance between our independence, this is our sovereignty, and just choosing to be sociable and just choosing to get along with other people. And while the sun in Libra is all about our relationships, this airy, feisty full moon is urging us to honor, to respect and applaud our independence, which in many ways is just the opposite to Libra energy, which is all about connections. Now, this full moon will shine its light on this contrast and you may feel like you want your independence and you want to be sovereign but you know there's also that part of uh, maybe compromise or getting a, just getting along with other people. Now there is a caution around this fiery Aries full moon that we might find that we need to express ourselves more and with greater emotion. Now the posse of angels is saying Please, pretty please, do take some extra care when expressing your beliefs and your opinions and do make sure that we don't become judgmental. We have come to a marked time in Earth's history where there is no more sitting on the fence as to what 
timeline or dimension that we'll be living in as the old paradigm is dissolving right before our eyes here on planet Earth and is no longer supported because of the ever-increasing light on the planet. We see this because more and more people are taking back their sovereignty. They're taking back their liberties and their rights to choose their health choices and to, to govern themselves. And what we will individually experience at this time depends on our different levels of vibration that we hold and we perpetuate. This is very much what I share about in my another award-winning novel, One True Home, Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness, when I write about the different levels of heaven that we will experience, depending on which level will be our exact vibrational match at the time when we cross from the physical to the non-physical. It is why it is so vital to hold and remain the highest vibrational frequency that we can, because as we now have the capability of shifting into higher and higher levels of being, our level of light will find its equal. It's this awakening to our light within and remembering who we truly are that is dissolving the darkness for us to return home and again to live heaven on earth. With the light growing stronger and stronger every moment on this beautiful planet of light, this is causing more and more consciousness division to show up. Now, you might have experienced a great exodus of many people in your life as both of you no longer resonate with each other. This means that it will become even more apparent in our personal lives where the worlds are separating because of the different levels of consciousness in people now. Now, my angelic family, the Posse of Angels, we're sharing that it's very important for us to be aware of the energies that we're holding for family and friends who are not seeing the same reality as we are seeing, as well as for those in positions of power who are restricting liberties and forcing health choices. Ask yourself if you have scorn or judgment or you're being triggered by those who are not waking up. There are many spiritual people who would adamantly say that they're filled with love and light, they're filled with compassion and forgiveness, but they are still deeply triggered by others' beliefs and others' health choices. Just this past week, I heard from several clients who said that they were experiencing enormous grief and overwhelming sadness by the damaging consequences of the health choices of their family and friends after they, in their words, sent them numerous research articles and information on the subject. Now the Posse of Angels is reminding all of us that all is perfection and that someone's free will choices are perfection for their journey. And to remember that we would not want anyone to tell us what choices to make along our journey. If you are feeling helpless, you can send another person waves of emerald green healing light to bolster their immune system. And if you're feeling hopeless because those who you love are not seeing things in the way that you are, maybe they're not awakened, then send them your compassion and pink waves of deep, unconditional love, no matter what choices they are making. And by doing those two things, you can be proactive. If there's one word that is most important to focus on right now, the word would be compassion. Deep compassion for others is the complete allowance, non-judgment, and non-attachment to whatever another person does or how they choose to comport their lives. Now, the Posse of Angels is saying that it's easy to have and hold compassion in the higher realms because we can very easily and clearly see that we are all divine 
underneath our free will choices and what a person chooses to do or say, no matter how much it's in opposition of our beliefs and opinions and actions, it doesn't make them any less divine in the eyes and in the heart of God's source creator. And therefore, who are we to admonish someone who has different thoughts and different beliefs? You know what, personally, I choose to follow God's example and just show somebody unconditional love, forgiveness, and compassion, and that's no matter what. Now, for those who are awakened, October will be a month of rapid advancement as more and more things start to break down for the new to break through. It'll also become very apparent that in the past, many allowed themselves to be led by things like politics, finances, family, religions, governments, and the material world, and we allowed that to dictate and qualify who we were and to actually define our identity. But with many reclaiming their sovereign, divine, multidimensional natures, we have taken back our power and are no longer dependent on anything external to determine our reality because our reality is not coming from our limited linear minds anymore. It is coming through that heart-centeredness, and that is where we manifest from in the higher dimensions. That's why all along everybody said the universe is within yourself, and we can create realities and worlds by going within. October will be a turning, a true turning point for many to start now actively working with this immense power within ourselves to place conscious focus on setting our intentions to create our reality. Because the timelines and dimensions are splitting and we are no longer dependent on anything outside of ourselves to create our world, it will become very apparent if we are not deliberately creating our reality. Because if we don't create our reality, our lives will seem to grind to a halt and become stagnant. Now, this is why the posse of angels and I have said on my Angel Healing House blog talk radio for a very, very long time. We've said this over and over and over. Don't wait. Create your life. Find your passion. Invest in your creativity. Get excited about, about what gives you most joy and then devote your time and ceaseless attention to that. And because of your abundant feeling in doing what makes you joy, that creates your reality and brings you back more opportunities and more connections and more situations to further do what you enjoy and what you love. Because in these magical, synchronistic energies, no longer bound by space, time, and dimension, we are now drawing the treasure map of our lives. And the more we do this with deliberate, conscious intention, the more miraculous opportunities and amazing connections will magically show up with ease and grace to set our feet on the path of fulfilled wishes and the attainment and abundance of our heart's desires. I don't know about you, but ever since the 1010, the colors are much brighter. It just feels like there's a lightness in the air. And certainly, uh, those of us who are empaths, we are feeling the impending moving forward of yet, yet two more planets, Mercury and Jupiter, joining Pluto and Saturn. With all of this thrust of forward-moving energy, it is a very exciting time as we move towards the end of October and into November. As I went to my cards to choose some cards for today, the first card that came out um, from the Oracle of Seven Energies uh, deck is a burst of magic. And this is pretty much what many of us have felt um, 
you know, um, uh, when we went through that 1010 portal. And also there was a new moon in, in Libra, and, um, and those two really gave us this extra boost. Now, I love that on this card, by the way, this is a uh, 48, which is a um, 12, which is a number three, which I always say three is the number of magic or wherever two or more are gathered in that higher source's name, what happens? Miracles and magic happen. So um, I love that it has a lotus flower on it. The lotus flower is one of the, the slowest opening flowers that they are. And um, when, it, when it finally opens, there's a magic to it. There's a beautiful, beautiful uh, symmetry in the way it opens. Um, and many of us might have felt like in the last two years, we were like the lotus growing in mud <laughs> and slowly, slowly integrating higher energies for us to open up and become clear. And the, what we are becoming clear about is who we are, which is powerful, multidimensional, sovereign beings of light. And that's what, that's what our trajectory that's where we're going because we can no longer remain on this planet. Mother Gaia, Mother Earth, planet Earth is turning into a planet of light. That's why we see the crumbling of all of anything that's dark, any, anything that's of corruption, any lies, any um, mistruths, anything, anything. It's now being brought to light so that, uh, so, so that it can be acknowledged and it can be blessed, and it can be released in order for us to create those new structures and systems. But this is a burst of magic that so many of our, us are feeling at the moment, because just like Mother Earth, planet of light, we, as inhabitants of light, we're feeling the same burst of magic that Mother Earth is feeling. Uh, it's like a, a sudden higher knowing that we're going through, a sense that finally, Everything has a purpose to it, um, and this purpose is being uh, um, bestowed on each one of us. It's like an epiphany, and we're, we're uh, going to be integrating the missing pieces of the puzzle uh, that couldn't come to us before because we actually were not ready to receive them. It, but the time is now. Answers will be coming directly from source, being downloaded into us, to help us step forward along with all those other planets onto our dharmic and soul-driven paths to be contributors of the light on this new planet of light. I just love that that card came out first. The next card that's coming out for us is an 11 card, which is endless possibilities because of this wonderful, burst of magic, like we burst through from one dimension to the next, that is opening up endless, endless possibilities for us. And we are the engine that is driving this light physical vehicle of ours to create our realities and create our worlds. Unlimited potential. Ask yourself what you believe. And if there are any limits that you're putting on yourself, because of our integration of higher energies, we have broken through. And when we break through, the possibilities become endless in the higher dimensions. We are not bound by space, time, and dimension anymore. Um, and we are certainly don't get our identity from anything outside of ourselves. We know that we are divine reflections of God's source energy and we can do, be, and have whatever we want because we have been given that potentiality inside to be able to create those realities. The treasure is yours now. You just need to believe in it. You just need to access it. Where are you putting your heartfelt wishes and desires on and feeding them? feeding that creativity, that passion and excitement because you're directing the ship now. Nobody else, nobody else. Where will you take your ship? And the next one 
that's coming out, and I'm not surprised that this one came out, is uh, because of Jupiter going forward in only two days' time, which is a two card, the roots of abundance. I love this card so much because now, as light beings, we are working in sync with Mother Earth. Before, because uh, before when she was under the auspices of that dark matrix, she did not uh, and could not connect with each one of us. But uh, very much like in the movie Avatar, where each one of the avatars, uh, the blue avatars, they knew that they were connected to the earth. Each one of us as a light being inhabitant as the physical form crystallines and we get lighter and lighter um, um, as we become more of our multidimensional na uh, natures and we regain that, then we become more in sync with Mother Earth. She knows your intentions. She knows every thought, every word, and every action. So that's why it's so important for each and every one to, for us to ground ourselves ground ourselves into beautiful Mother Earth um, and, uh, and all your hopes and dreams. Ground them firmly because you're allowed to have them. You know, expand your dreams. Think bigger. Do not limit yourself. We got the card, endless possibilities coming up. And so this is the abundance that so many will be seeing as we move forward and with Jupiter moving forward as well. So there are three cards from the Oracle of the Energies. Along with that, I went to my Denise Lynn, the Sacred Forest cards. And uh, the Posse of Angels, my angelic family, told me to pick three of these cards. Once again, they were a burst of magic, which many have felt like we burst through into this seemingly clear brighter, happier world. Okay, so the next one is the endless possibilities which is opening up for us and the roots of abundance. So they said pick three of those. Then when I went to these cards, the sacred forest, they said pick two of these cards. So we're going three, two, and we're going down. So the next, this is frog spirit. I love frog spirit. Frog spirit is all about renewal. It's about our resurrection. It's about our rebirth, transformation, about renewing ourselves um, and seeing the world with new eyes, seeing the world through new clarity. Uh, so many of us have integrated these higher energies and the things that were important for us before just so it seemed to fall by the wayside. What's most important now is love unconditional love, forgiveness, compassion, unity, kindness, generosity, and that is what is fueling us and what feels good. You know, when we're helping another person, when we're bringing joy to others and joy to ourselves as well, but this is renewing us and this is the energies that we've stepped in uh, going through that 1010 portal. And then this card came out as well, and it's family, it's wolf spirit. Now, I wasn't at all surprised when this one came out because so many of us, although a lot of our relationships are falling by the wayside, what I've heard from many clients is that uh, the, when uh, they have been estranged from their biological families who have made very different um, choices um, but now with forgiveness and compassion and allowing everyone to walk their journey as they see fit, just as we would like somebody to allow us to walk our journey, families are coming back together again and they are being drawn in. So uh, they have a common ground now and the common ground is just love. Everything else has fallen by the wayside. Why is that? Because in the higher realms, all there is is love. Everything else falls away by the wayside. It doesn't mean anything. So family means everything to the wolf. 
a lot of people um, misrepresent the wolf, but the wolf, the pack for the wolf is everything. And uh, wolves are excellent communicators. So now that uh, we've changed, we as a collective on this planet have changed so much. Um, our form and the way that we communicate and uh, we are very um, uh, attentive to our words, our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, our actions. And if we make them all and we preface them with that divine energy, then that touches people's hearts and is mending. It is mending so many relationships within our biological families. Now, with the wolf spirit coming out, we are also drawing to ourselves our soul families. These are those people who will support us and help us in stepping onto our dharmic paths. So thank you, Mr. Wolf, for coming in and honing our attention on our families. This could also be, while I uh, shuffle these, um, this could also be our family in spirit, who many of my clients have said that they are starting to really connect with those uh, loved ones across the veil who are helping them enormously at this time as they adjust to these higher dimensions, higher timelines, these higher energies as we step into um, with becoming um, beings of higher light frequency and we adjust to a new um, planet of light. Okay, these are the A Yogic Path by Sahara Rose and the card that's going to come out most of us, uh, for us, is this one. Ah, it's the card of the Buddha. Beautiful cards these in. Let's read about the Buddha. It's 29. Buddha is not just one person. Buddha is anyone who has an aware and blessed soul. Right now, that is you. You have woken up to your true self. I call it our powerful, sovereign, multidimensional divine natures. And you've let go of illusions that were binding you to the material world and receiving your identity and who you were from external sources. You've taken off any outward blockages and given a good look into the vastness of your own soul. You realize that nothing is inherently good or bad, but rather you now see it as the perfection of all that is. You understand the non-dual nature of the world and are letting go of the judgments of the mind. Because after all, these are just illusions that we hold on to. Hold the knowledge that we are all Buddha-like or Buddha nature, and it just takes remembering. I say that we are divine and eternal underneath our choices. Everyone is. So thank you so much, Buddha, for coming in and reminding us of that. So I'm going to finish off by going to the tarot cards and seeing what comes out. So can't believe it's already halfway through October. Wow. Things are going to be speeding up so rapidly with structures and systems breaking down with more and more people taking back their liberties, taking back their freedoms, and uh, taking back their, um, uh, their God-given right to have their own health choices. So many things are coming to light, um, and, uh, and we are going to see such a rapidly changing planet over uh, October and November. Um, and some even say that it will culminate um, at the end of this year, build up to and keep going uh, in order to start with that clean slate 
um, in 2022. Now, the Posse of Angels have always said that the world that we are going to be living in uh, next spring, that's here in the States, March, April, May of 2022, in many ways will look very different to the way it looks now. Um, the greatest thing that each and every one of you can do is to turn the mirror back on yourself. Don't get involved in any fear, chaos, drama, or anything outside of yourself. Bless everyone where they are, which is perfection for their journey. It's not your journey. You wouldn't want anybody to tell you how to work, how to, how to live your life. And, uh, and hold the frequency of high consciousness, high elevated light within yourself. That's not to say you, you hide your head in the sand and just say, oh, there's just love and light. But you are well versed in knowing what's going on but you can still be that neutral, quiet observer to just observe what's going on and not to be dragged into any chaos or drama which would um, uh, take away and diminish your light. One more. One, two, three. First card that's coming out for us is the Six of Wands card. Yeah, this is the victory card. Uh, this is the card of feeling victorious. It's like I was saying on a, a I was interviewed uh, by lovely Kimberly Palm the other day, which my interview is going to be coming out uh, this coming week. Um, she was. Uh, I was telling her that each and every one of us. Um, it was like an audition we went through to come back to the planet now. And there were millions of souls who wanted to come back at this stage, but they weren't courageous and they weren't brave enough to go through this great awakening, but you were. Um, and many of us are feeling quite victorious after the last year, two years that we've gone through. Um, and the light has already won on the planet now, um, or else we wouldn't be seeing these revelations and disclosures. So no, Know that the planet is ascending into a planet of light. You put your hand up to go through this and you are victorious. And the Galactic Council of Light, the Galactic Federation of Light, the Archangels, the angelic hosts are thanking each and every one of us for coming back and holding light frequency for this planet. It's a great card to start with because that's a card of joy and harmony and balance. Next card coming out for us is the Wheel of Fortune. Now, this card is saying that it has been prophesized uh, over the last, uh, tw really, 26,000 year cycle, but really the, the Earth was um, kidnapped about 11,000 years ago. Um, and is just now uh, broken free of that darkness. So it's a karmic, it's a karmic prophesized time of the earth becoming a planet of light once more. She's very excited, Mother Earth, because she gets to be a member of the Galactic Federation of Light, along with other planets like the Andromedans, the Syrians, the Nibirans, the Pleiadians, and Arcturians, and so many other star nations, and She's being welcomed back into that family again. And it's a very karmic time for her and for us as its inhabitants. And the world card came out next. The world is definitely changing. It's a new world. I like that. Uh, they're giving me the line of that uh, Michael Buble song. It's a new world. It's a new day. It's a new life. And many of us are feeling like this. Um, Know that with these new changes, and I'm going to be speaking about this on my um, Angel Healing House blog talk radio show, the things that you can do because your physical, your physical form is changing. It's crystallining into light. I'll be speaking about the things that you can do so that you can go through this transition with, uh, with greater ease and grace um, as your body changes. Um, to be able to remain on a planet that is turning into a planet of light. See all that light that is coming off 
of our beautiful Mother Earth. And that's the way she is. You know, in my radio programs, I've said that before. She has shown me a vision of her with her arms held high. It's like this triumphant. It's like this triumphant vision, uh, vision of herself. It's funny that this is the victory card. But this is the vision of her now holding a laurel wreath because after so many years, she has broken free of that darkness and the light is building. The next card is the resurrection card. Look coming from dark to light. Archangel Gabriel. Their Archangel Gabriel is blowing their horn. The divine shining down on us and it is a new dawn it is a new day the butterflies there are showing us a new path to step onto and you don't have to figure out life anymore because life in the higher dimensions comes to us with ease and grace as it equals our vibrational frequency inside so when you're doing what you love doing then you will draw more of opportunities and connections to yourself but there's a whole new phase of our lives coming in with that resurrection card. Next card, another new beginning is the fool. This one is reminding us there's another new path for us to take. But this one is our dharmic path. That dove is, our, is spirit, and spirit is saying you're going to be stepping on your soul's highest dharmic path from now on. And you, it'll be presented to you. You don't have to figure it out. All you need to do is keep your vibrational frequency high in joy and creative passion. They're also reminding me with the Fool card how important it is to remain childlike. You know, um, I, re I recently posted a photo of myself in my red robe with my teddy bear ears on it on Facebook. And somebody said, you know, I wish I could be more like you. You're not afraid to show people, you know, how childlike you are. Um, and I said, I said, well, you know, uh, it's different. Showing that childlike side of you is very different from being childish, you know, because when we're childlike, it keeps the wonder and the enchantment alive in our lives and allowing ourselves as children of that divine creator um, to be led and to dance that dance with spirit and to trust and have faith that we will be led along our new dharmic path. Next card is the child card. <laughs> this is the sun, the bluebird of happiness. Do, do keep your child alive. Do those things that make you giggle and wiggle. You have done what, what no other generation has done, is that you have uh, um, contributed to the light on the planet in such a high way, in such a high elevated way, that it has uh, started the dark to just crumble and to disappear on this planet. And the sunflowers are happiness, as the bluebirds are as well. So I love that the child card came out when I was speaking about being childlike. Uh, next card that's coming out in for us is the Eight of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands is something swiftly changing. With all of these planets moving forward, uh, there will be swift communication coming in. You know, remember, Mercury is the planet of, of expression and communication. And maybe we've been waiting. We've been waiting for some communique, maybe email or text or phone or something, even snail mail to come through. Um, and, uh, and now, with the energies released, they'll be opening up um, and bringing us those messages that will help us to step forward. And I love it. It, it has the rainbow on it because the rainbow is about wishes coming true. Um, and things clearing away for us, you know, the clouds parting so the rainbow can see, be seen. Oh, we are the stars in the firmament now. Shine so bright, shine so bright. Um, I, I do quote Joni Mitchell a lot. We are, uh, th what is it, three 
300 billion year old carbon. You know, we come from the stars. We come from those higher multidimensional levels. We are infinite. And the more we shine that, uh, the more our lives will shine with a great deal of brilliance. So don't forget about your multidimensional natures. <laughs> the next card that's coming out for us is the Three of Cups. It's a celebration card. Now, this is also the card of getting together with like-minded people. Um, I have loved, absolutely loved this Mercury retrograde because one of the favorite things about it is people from the past coming back into our lives again. And, um, and this is certainly a time to celebrate, celebrate with others um, on the amazing things that are happening on planet Earth. Last card is another celebration card. This is the Four of Wands. This is the marriage card, um, but it's also the card of a celebration around very hard work. And the Posse of Angels are saying for each of us to give ourselves a pat on the back for all that we've done, for all we are, and for the light that we hold to nourish and help nurture Mother Earth as she has broken free from that darkness and she continues in every moment to shine the brightness that has eluded her, that has stopped her for the past 11,000 years. It is such an amazing time to be here on planet Earth. Let's make a little bit more magic to end with my matching, matching, making magic deck and ask that the posse of angels, my angelic family, Please help jump just three, just three. One at a time would be nice, but oh, no, oh, no, 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 that's too many. That's too many. No, oh, no. Three. Okay. Okay. I hope wherever you are, the weather is absolutely gorgeous. We are here in Santa Monica uh, are having cooler nights. Uh, for us, it dipped down into the 50s, which is quite unusual for us. <laughs> Hence the robe with the teddy bear ears. <laughs> and, um, and I know my wonderful family in Australia, you are starting to get into beautiful spring weather where you are, wherever you are. I hope you're experiencing joy. I hope you're experiencing joy. Because joy in our hearts this raises our frequency like, like we can't ever imagine. It improves our immune system. It makes us healthier. It makes us glow. <laughs> okay, what cards have come out for us? The first card is manifesting money and income. Okay, trink of five. This has to do with Jupiter moving forward. Yay, come on, Jupiter. Abundance, good fortune, good luck and things expanding, maybe like our bank accounts. So that's uh, manifesting money. The labyrinth. The labyrinth is transition to a higher level of being. What have I been speaking about? Higher consciousness, raising your energetic vibration and enlightenment. And that's certainly what we are going through now. There's no question about it. The next card is fairy magic. One of the greatest things that we can do now, because unlike how we thought we were going to ascend as to higher beings, we thought that we were going to ascend out of this body. But this is the first time ever we are ascending within the physical form. So respectfully work with the fairies and the elementals to achieve your goals. That means ground yourself in Mother Nature, walks in nature, putting your hands in the soil, going barefoot on the, on the grass, all of those things, and to connect with that fairy magic. I hope all that's been helpful for you. Everyone, please do go out and fashion an absolutely beautiful life for yourself. If you are interested in my services, either my intuitive counseling, Reiki energy healing, learning Reiki, ancestral uh, clearing, past life clearing, um, uh, angel tarot card readings, all of those things can be found on my website, which is angelhealinghouse.com, as well as my award-winning books. And I often forget to 
show this one, Angels of Faith, that's based on my two near-death experiences and the fact that we do not die and that we are divine and eternal. Remember, you can uh, purchase all those books on Amazon, two of them on audio, on audible.com as audiobooks, and on my website, angelhealinghouse.com. All the information's in the description box below. Go out, everybody, and fashion an absolutely beautiful life for yourself. And I'm wishing you love and, as always, angel blessings. Take care, everyone. Bye.